I'm back, bitches. Hi, my name is Melissa Marie. Welcome back to my channel, and I am back. It is 7.54 p.m., and it is so dark outside. I'm doing this at night. I have my LEDs on. Um, Today, I, you guys saw the title. I'm going to be showing you guys Urban Outfitters, like, I guess, dupes. I got all of this stuff from Walmart, um, from the brand Time and True. I am not sponsored by Walmart or the brand. So um, I'm going to be showing you some dupes that I found. I'm also going to be showing you my list of fall trends that I still want to thrift slash buy from affordable brands and stores and stuff. I mean, my whole thing with clothes is that you don't need to have some expensive shit. Like this sweatshirt right here was from Fruit of the Loom, Walmart. I think I got this one off of Amazon actually. This was like five bucks the sweats um that i was supposed to get the matching ones those were i think 10 bucks 15 dollars for an entire outfit plus some like thrifted white sneakers that i found for like five bucks as well yeah i'm gonna be showing you some dupes from urban outfitters i'm gonna be showing you what i still want slash what i desire but yeah let's uh let's get started and if anybody's gonna comment on my hair, it's blue and purple. You guys just can't see it in the light. But uh, for the clips that I am going to try them on, you will be able to see it because I'll be in the daytime. I should have probably addressed my hair earlier, but it's okay. So, I got another sweatshirt slash sweatpants duo set thing. Um, this is from Fruit of the Loom sweatshirt was probably I think around like five bucks. Uh, sweats were I think seven bucks. So together they were $12. Uh, I've always wanted like sets like this or like a pantsuit. I still really want that as well. But I'm gonna try this on for you guys in the next clip. So I just tucked in the sweatshirt just to make it a little bit more cropped into my bra. And it's honestly pretty comfortable. And as you can see on the side, it's almost over a hundred bucks just for an actual matching sweatsuit this is a steal i have these plaid pants these are i think in a size 12 they were 14.94 so 15 bucks i've never owned plaid pants before so and they're very stretchy as well i kind of like them yeah i mean if you were to see it on urban outfitters i think what i saw them for was like $69 so 70 bucks what the fake these pants fit really well i kind of like them they're a little bit baggy but that's honestly kind of what i like nowadays i paired them with this black oversized denim jacket a thin camisole tank top and these combat boots that i will later talk about in the video and then i got two pairs of jeans one in black and one in these true blue um, color right here. This is by the brand George. Um, these are in the regular. I have another pair of pants or jeans that are actually in slim fit. And they have more of that mom jean look. Both these jeans were $10.44. So like 11 bucks, you're getting $22 for two pairs of jeans. Denim jeans on Urban Outfitters go for almost 60 to 70 bucks. The cheapest you could probably find, like the ones on sale, around $40. It has that like stiff, I guess, like feeling, but obviously it's not true denim. But still, these are really good jeans. It has that very baggy look and you'll be able to see it on the try on portion. portion. So I paired these black jeans with this car shirt, the car graphics on the back, and then this DIY denim jacket and white sneakers, and they're obviously pretty wide-legged. For these jeans, I paired with this Vogue for Pedro shirt because I thought it fit pretty well, and then a black belt to accessorize, and this brown plaid uh, flannel that I've worn like multiple times and these same sneakers then this flannel I got very very not recently <laughs> I got this flannel earlier in the month 
um, when I first went to Walmart in forever. This is also by the brand George, and I believe this flannel was seven bucks. It's like in this maroon color, like dark maroon, and I really wanted to find colors like this, or like a rusty color, like a red rust color, if that makes sense. But I got this in a large, and this is the most comfiest thing I have ever owned in my entire life. In Urban Outfitters, also, flannels go for like, what, 30 bucks, 40 bucks sometimes. So I got this for $7. Yeah. So I played around with this outfit. I don't know if it works. I basically just wore, obviously, a sports bra underneath, unbuttoned it, and then with these plaid pants and the combat boots that I also bought. I don't know if this works, but it, it looks fine to me, question mark. I, I don't know. And then the last thing I got today were these combat boots. They look almost like Doc Martens. Obviously, they're not. This is also from the brand Time and True. And these were $19.98. So they were like 20 bucks. And obviously, Doc Martens go for almost $130 to, $1 to sometimes even $200. These are pretty cool boots i mean like obviously they're not docs but i used to own doc martens they were red ones and i love them but my mom kind of donated them a while back all of these cost except for the flannel because i bought that a long time ago all of the like these items cost around like 80 dollars for everything now that sounds like a lot but i have the urban outfitters website pulled up right now and I, if I were to literally buy two things, I'm looking at a cardigan right now, uh, it's $70, and if I were to buy, like, jeans, also 70 bucks, that's $140 I'd be spending on two items. <laughs> what I got was an amazing deal, and, um, like I said, I'll be trying everything on after clips, so blah blah blah, if you're back from that, hi, but, yeah, uh, basically, I just wanted to make this video because... You don't have to spend $140 on two items from a website. I know a lot of people are getting back into thrifting, which is amazing. I love that. But just also be in mind that people who don't actually, like, who can't actually, like, afford a lot of stuff, like homeless people, whatever, um, they still need jackets and stuff for this winter. It's cold up here in NorCal and other, like other states slash countries so just be aware of that when you are thrifting be cautious be mindful however no, that said fast fashion is or it shouldn't be a necessity when i first discovered thrifting and like all the gems you can find or like just finding brands and stores that you know are able to kind of dupe <laughs> Like Urban Outfitters, H&M, Forever 21, when it was still a thing. You know, it's it's cool, and I love it. And I was so afraid of thrifting back then. My parents used to do it. My grandma used to do it all the time. But now it's obviously, now it's, you know, favored. And that's a good thing. It means that we're cycling um, our clothes. Um, it means that... You know, we're not necessarily throwing them out. We're throwing them out into a Goodwill or like a donation center. But we're not throwing out clothes like as garbage. Um, yeah. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video whenever that will be. I'll probably do an updated everyday makeup tutorial. Or maybe even a hair care tutorial. I don't know. But yeah, uh, see you guys later. Bye. I'll never catch you while I'm this small. Curious butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. I hmm? Oh, my God.